In the first video, we looked at an intuitive definition of what a limit is. We also looked at the precise definition. But we're going to use the intuitive approach for most of this series on limits. And then at the end, we're going to go back to the precise definition. So we've looked at what a limit means. So let's now get a bit more specific. A limit from the left and a limit from the right. So we write the following. You see a little negative there. The limit is f of x, as of f of x as x approaches a from the negative side. So that's from values less than a. It's equal to L, and we say the limit of f of x as x approaches a from the left is equal to L. If we can make the values of f of x arbitrarily close to L by taking x sufficiently close to a, but less than a. And similarly from the right, we see the little plus. So we're looking from the right hand side, we're looking at x values that are greater than a, but not equal to a. So let's look at what this means. So here we've got a function, f of x, it's a piecewise defined function or compound function. If you're not familiar with those, you can look at the section on functions and we've explained them there. And I've got the sketch there just to make it easier for us. So this is what this function looks like, it's defined for x everywhere except, no, it's defined for all real numbers. The domain of that function is all real numbers. So now we're asking a question. What happens to the values of y as x gets closer to 1 from the left and from the right? So we're looking at here what happens as x gets closer to the number 1. So what we are looking at is the limit as x approaches 1 from the negative side of f of x. That just means from values smaller than 1. And we want to look at the limit as x approaches 1 from the positive side of f of x. So let's start with the sketch. If I look at the sketch, as x approaches 1 from the negative side, so now I'm going approaching 1 from this side over here. So I'm picking values that are getting closer and closer to 1. What is happening to my y values? I see my y values gets closer and closer to 1 as well, so that value is equal to 1. Now remember, we're not interested in what happens at 1 at the moment. We just want to see what happens as x gets close to 1. Next one, as x approaches 1 from the positive side, now let's look at this side. x gets closer and closer to 1, my y values get closer and closer to 0. All right. now later we're going to look at the significance. If I bring the two together, but for now, let's just look at from the left and from the right. And it's easy if I've got the sketch to visually see what happens. Now, yet again, this is an intuitive approach. We're not looking using the precise definition at the moment. But intuitively, we can see from the sketch what is happening to the y values as the x values approaches 1. If I look at the function itself, as the function is defined, if I choose x values that get closer and closer to 1 from the negative side, what we are looking at is we're in this portion over here. So x gets closer and closer to 1, and y gets closer and closer to 1. So the limit value is 1. Whereas from the right-hand side, we're looking at this third part here. x is getting closer to 1, so y is getting closer to 0. All right. Now, we say the limit as x approaches a of f of x is equal to L. If and only if from the left and from the right, it's equal to L. So in the previous example, or the, on the previous page, we saw for this function, the limit as x approaches 1 from the negative side, we saw is equal to 1. And the limit as x approaches 1 from the positive side is equal to 0. So they're not equal. They do not approach the same thing. So that means the limit... As x approaches 1 of this function, does not exist. Because this limit is only equal to a specific number if from the left and from the right we're going to the same number. Now let's, let's look at the same function. What happens as I'm approaching minus 1? If I look at the limit as x approaches minus 1 from the left hand side, I'm seeing my x values, and if I look at back at how the function was defined, it's the constant function 1. The x value, y values just gets closer and closer to 1. Well, they actually stay on 1. And the limit as x approaches minus 1 from the positive side 
Now I'm coming from this side to minus 1, so my y values get closer and closer to 1. So from the left and from the right, we're approaching the same number, so I can conclude that the limit as x approaches minus 1 of this function does exist, and the value is equal to 1. And similarly, we can find the limit for any other x value. The only problem is over here. And graphically, if we've got the sketch, we can see what happens and how that limit does not exist. So let's look at the next one. We don't have the function definition, but we've got a sketch for this function. Let us see what's happening here. This function is defined for all real numbers. It's not defined where x is equal to 2, but we don't care what happens at 2. We care what happens close to 2. All right, so we're going to look at 0 and at 2. What happens? As x approaches 0 from the negative side, so my x values get closer and closer to 0 from the negative side, my y values are getting closer and closer to naught. As x get closer and closer to 0 from the positive side, my y values decrease and get closer and closer to naught. So I can conclude that the limit as x approaches 0 of f of x is equal to naught. And yet again, we can easily see it on the sketch, but we're working towards getting this limit values without using the sketch. All right. Next one is I'm approaching 2. So let's look as x gets closer and closer to 2 from the negative side. So now we're going in this direction. Now, this function is not defined at x equal to 2, but we do not mind. As x gets closer and closer to 2 from the negative side, my y value goes towards 8. While x gets closer and closer to 2 from the positive side, my y values increase and head to minus 2. So I can conclude that the limit as x approaches 2 of this function does not exist. Because from the left and from the right, we are not approaching the same value. And that is how we say this limit does not exist. 